Hey what's up YouTube, uh, it's BMW here and today I'll be showing you how to install the planes mod and um, my laptop broke so now I have this shitty uh, XP from like a uh, century ago and it lags and everything, it's not good so bear with me here and uh, yeah so let's get started first of all open your inter browser and uh, you want to go to the planes thread and uh, post the link in the description and here it is you want to scroll all the way down and uh, so far this mod you can't use this mod with craft bucket hopefully you can later and if you can I'll make a tutorial on that so yeah scroll all the way down and you will see the instructions and you want to install everything that this says for example at this time it says download mod loader v5 if you're watching this whatever two months from now you'll probably have to download v6 depends on what's out so open that and um, you want to download it there it says the mods mod loader beta whatever and uh, you want to download the one that says here for example for me it says v5 so I'm gonna have to download the v5 it doesn't matter if you download it with grass fix or without I'm not gonna download it anymore because I already have it once. And then you're gonna have to um, install SDK's Mod Loader MP. So right click on it, open the link in new tab. But just do it because it's annoying to go back. And uh, here you want to scroll down as well. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, there it is. Uh, for developers only. So you're gonna have to download this one first. Mod loader MP, not MP server. Mod loader MP, this one, right there. Download that one. I already have it. I'm not gonna download it again. Now you're gonna have to download the turbo model thingy. So I'll show you where it is. But, uh, scroll down. There it is download the latest version of it or whichever it says on the thread so for example for me it's gonna be this one I already have it I'm not gonna download it again and then you're gonna have to download the audio mod uh, it's from the same guy that did mod loader uh, this is to, if you want audio it's optional you don't have to but it's cool because audio is good so um, there it is download it I already did. So now you're gonna have to download the actual planes mod, which is right here. And then for uh, other people, yeah. So just click, click click here to start download. I already did. Now you're gonna have to download the SMP stuff. You're gonna have to download SDK's mod loader MP server. So there's two of them that kind of sound the same. But they're different. One of them is for the server, and one of them is and one of them is for the client. So I'll scroll down again in the same thread, and here it is, the one below, mod loader MP server. You're gonna have to download that one. So both of these, you're gonna have to download them. Uh, so yeah, and then download the planes server v5. I believe I have it, so I'm not gonna download it again. But here it is. And a mirror would be nice to the developer if he's watching this. Mirrors. Uh -huh, it's good anyways. So now you want to go to Minecraft.net. There it is. And once you're here, you want to click download. And you want to scroll all the way down where it says multiplayer beta software. And you want to download the Minecraft server.jar. I don't have this, so I'm going to have to download it. And then you want to copy this code right here so you could run the server without GUI. I just like it better than with GUI, it's like less messy and stuff. So copy that and then go to, uh, go to your desktop, right click, new folder, and uh, name the folder whatever, server. There it is. Now you want to double click in there. And it's gonna be empty, so you want to put the Minecraft underscore server dot jar in that folder that you just made. Now you could go ahead and close Google Chrome or whatever browser you have, and make sure you know where you saved all those downloads. Now you wanna right click new 
text document and just name it blah blah whatever that because you're gonna have to delete it later and you want to paste the code uh, I'll just put it in the description or it's gonna be on the um, minecraft dot net website and you want to click file save as and you want to save it as run server or whatever you want but make sure you put like run server on it so it's and you want to put all files not text document but all files and run server dot bat guys this is for windows i don't know for mac or linux i'm sorry so run server dot bat and save as type all files not as not text document just all files and you want to click save and uh, it should be like oh crap it should be like that and now you delete the first one that you created and now you should be left with those two now you want to locate uh, your your uh, stuff that you downloaded so for me it's in my documents downloads and there's all of it so you want to open mod loader mp server and uh, let's minimize that and planes 1.3 whatever whichever version server plane server open that okay so now I recognize that and um, alright go to the server uh, folder that you made and right click on craft server and open it with either 7-zip, one roar you probably know how to do this if you don't then you don't I don't know just search it up so there it is minecraft server jar put it there now go to uh, the plane server and copy everything like that and drag them in there yes alright so I guess it's transferred let's make sure it should say entity planes here ah, the entity by plane entity bullet that's uh that's a good way to check if you actually did it so now you could x out of that now you want to open mod loader mp server not the just mod loader mp mod loader mp server so now select all of those hold hold control and select the net folder you don't want to drag in the source and exam yes I don't think it will do anything but uh, whatever okay so now you're done with that you could X out and you close the uh, the server folder for now now you're gonna have to actually install the mod in your minecraft so go to r on windows start menu run percent app data percent click ok go to dot minecraft and first of all just just leave it like that now go back to uh, where you located your stuff where is it downloads and um, you want to open up the planes not plane server now just planes and you want to go to the resources and this is funny Wait, let me pause the the video so I could um I could actually just reset everything so I don't have the mods already. I right, that. All right, so sorry about that. So um, you want to go to the dot Minecraft folder, and this is what it should like it should look like if you don't have any mods installed in it. And now go to your downloads and open the planes, not plane server planes, and you want to go to resource files and you want to go to uh, resources here and you want to drag mod in there or just extract it I just drag them it's way easier now go back in here now let me minimize this Okay. so now you want to go to the jar files and here go back and go to bin right click on minecraft 7-zip open achieve or open it with winrar I like 7-zip better because it's less annoying and free uh, I could minimize that. Okay, so now go to the whatever planes that zip and select everything that's in here. Everything like that. And drag them into the Minecraft.jar. Yes. Okay, there you go. Now you can X out of that. And go to downloads again. And you want to open the turbo model thingy. And before we forget, delete the me.inf folder, which is right here meta and uh, delete it okay 
There you go, it's deleted. And you wanna now go to the turbo model thingy and drag all of these in the minecraft.jar folder. Yes, I X out of that. Now go to the uh, mod loader with grass fix or without grass fix. Mod loader, not mod loader MP or anything like that, just mod loader first. And uh, you want to drag all of these files in the minecraft.jar. So, uh, yes, there you go. You can X out of that. Now open mod loader MP. So open mod loader MP and drag these, not source and exam, just these. Uh, yes, there you go. You could X out of that. And now the audio mod, if you want audio, if you don't, then just leave it, it's optional. Drag those into the minecraft.jar, yes, okay, so now, uh, we're ready, but now I think I'm gonna get an error, not I think, I'm pretty positive I am, so I'll, I'll show you if I get the error, and if you get the same error, I'll show you how to fix it, so, um, go to your server, fo server folder, and you wanna run server and it's gonna be this and it's gonna say uh, wait where is it? yeah all these files are gonna create and it's gonna say prepare to spawn area blah 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 and it's gonna go up to a hundred but I will just stop it because I'm, I will just put a custom world so you see this is the world I have um, a flat save because I'm a pimp alright so there you go now I'll have a custom world, so you know, you know, just to, and I'll be using a crack line because my brother has is on my Minecraft account. So spawn. I'm just gonna go to server properties and put this stuff to whatever you want. I'm gonna put it to false spawn animals, online mode to false. Again, you don't have to do this. I am doing it. Spawn monsters to false. Hell world false. Whatever. And you have to port forward. If you get any can't connect, connect error, whatever, you have to port forward. Google it, YouTube it, how to do it. So I'm sorry. Uh, so run server. I'm just not gonna show you because then the video would be like an hour. So run the server and it should say for help. Type help or question mark. That means your uh, you have whatever your server is running successfully. Oopsie. Alright, minimize that and run Minecraft. Okay, so uh, whatever. I have a crack line again. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so enter game. Okay, if you get a black screen, go to dot Minecraft and delete everything that's in that folder. Everything that's in dot Minecraft except your saves. So back up your saves or just don't delete them. And then run Minecraft. All of those folders that you deleted will be recreated install the mod again that should work it works for me so go to multiplayer and either put your IP or local host click connect and I'm gonna get an error oh no I didn't so oh that's good I didn't get an error uh, again if you get an error that says end of stream you wanna go and uh, put the um, the pl the whatever mod loader MP server in your dot Minecraft. Uh, it worked for me before, but now it's not giving me the error again, which is good. So it should work for you too. So um, yeah, and uh, if you could see, I have the plane right there. It's um, I'm recording with Cam Studio, so it's not gonna be as good. But I'm just gonna whatever you get it, and then. The IDs for the planes, I'm gonna put them in the description so you could use the slash give command to get your planes and you don't really have to work for them. Uh, here's my plane. Yeah, there you go. It's a little bit buggy and you don't need to put coal or anything in it as far as I'm concerned. For V5, um, he just made the planes like that and you have unlimited bullets. So I'm not gonna get in them because as you see, I'm recording and it's super laggy. So disconnect. But yeah, you get the point. Uh yeah, so thanks for watching and go have fun and uh as I said the planes are buggy.
So it work and stop your server, just type in stop. Your computer might not handle the server, so the bot blocks will appear and disappear. But if this computer that you know is handling it, that every computer should, because this shit is like a dumb freaking computer from 1900s and it has like 700 megabytes of RAM and a shitty graphic card. So uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you want a mod for me to review or show you how to download, please send me a PM or leave it in the comments. And if a lot of people are having problem with it, then I'm gonna make a tutorial on it. So uh, thanks for watching.